<laughs> you love the Velcro? <laughs> Hi everybody, it's Kevin Raber and uh, we're in my office today. I'm gonna show you a really cool product that just came. Uh, Sense Lab sent me this tablet. Um, they sent it with uh, no holes barred. I can say what I want and uh, put it out the way I want, but they seem to be doing things right. This tablet with what I'm going to show you is about uh, $350, $359 roughly. And uh, let me show you all the elements and pieces on it. So. And essentially what you get is just a beautifully constructed, feels solid, nothing cheap about it. Uh, it's got all this kind of strong feel and it, this very nice textured writing area, which we will get into as we begin to use this. We get two pens and a bunch of nibs. So here's two pens, nibs, a USB connector and a USB-C connector for this. Now, this is wireless, and rather than use the Bluetooth, which sometimes is unreliable, Sense Lab has decided to use their own little connector. Now, in other cases, for example, a Wacom or others that are wired, you're still gonna use up a USB port to use this. You get a fat pen, which is very, very typical and feels just like the Wacom pen with three buttons, and you get a skinny pen. Both have the racer tips on them. It's a really nicely built case with a magnetic shut, so it fits into that case really nicely. So we're gonna put that aside here for a minute. And what I really like too is this controller. And uh, we'll go into this in a second when I show you how we set everything up. And this changes in, and is completely customizable. So it allows you to work maybe with one hand on the tablet and one hand on the controller here. So we'll take a look at that. So give me a second and we'll get this baby set up. So here I am, this is my typical setup when I am working and editing pictures. A lot of people using pen tablets are gonna be using pen tablets in Illustrator and animation and doing all sorts of funky and interesting things with uh, pens. Um, they have a lot more talent than I do. As I set this computer up, essentially what I did was I took those two dongles I pushed the USB into the USB-C adapter and plugged it into an open USB-C port in the back of my uh, iMac Pro here. And uh, as it can show here, I opened up the control panel for the Sense Lab product and I'm at the home page. And it immediately gives me a status of my tablet is at 100%. It's reading the three button pen, the thin pen, and it's reading the quick keys. When it comes time to charging, you just plug it into a USB-C charger or a USB-C cord from your computer into any one of these devices and you'll get a status update of where things are. And you have a control panel here where you can import or export these user settings in case you want to uh, work with these on different computers. For example, I'm on my uh, iMac Pro here, but if I wanted to work with it on my laptop when I went on location doing a workshop or whatever, I can do that. And then on that computer, I can use the import user settings and bring those back. Let's go into the pen tablet itself. So when I'm in the pen tablet and I go up and, and I'm, I guess what I'm trying to emphasize is how easy this whole setup is. It shows the applications that we'll work with. And I've got the Photoshop's here and I have Photoshop 220 2020 and Photoshop uh, 2021. And then of course I've got Capture One. Uh, so these are what they work. If you wanna add more, you can go over here and, and pick the products that you would like to add if they're available. So it's it's very simple setup. On this product, I have corners. And these corners I can set. This is the actual frame area that you're working. And um, you can pick the color you wanna work with. So I can change them to blue. I don't know if you can see that, but it turns to blue. I can go back to yellow or I can go to red. So it just kind of opens up that and I can also make it brighter so that I can actually see them. And I'm gonna work with the yellow. It also has three buttons up here. Now I don't really like the, the position of these buttons necessarily. It would have been nice if they were under someplace else because essentially when I'm actually working on this and I wanna use one of these buttons, I have to reach over the screen to get to it. You can actually set these buttons up the way you would like down here. So I can launch settings with my left button, adjust pressure with my middle button, and switch display with my right button. And of course I can open it up and change it to whatever other things I want. So this buttons and everything about this setup are customizable and is really nice to, to have. So we now move to the three button pen. The three button pen is this big pen. And it's got 
three buttons, one, two, three, and an eraser at the end. You can set these up for whatever apps you want, and I'm gonna work and demo mostly in Capture One here since that's where I work. So I have an undo in the top button, a double click in the middle button, and a right click on the uh, very bottom button. And I can regulate the pen pressure uh, depending on how I would like it. So um, I kind of have it set right about there in the middle for now. And you can go into advanced settings and really get specific. So if you're really in there, you can change all sorts of things as far as the curves, the output and the pressure, kind of like you would with curves inside um, uh, a photo application. So this button, and this is the pen I use most, this is ready to go. You have a thin pen, and that's the cool thing about the thin pen. For example, you can have the thin pen set up for doing something else. The most clever device is this Quick Keys device. This is really cool because you can zoom in, you can change the color. So I can actually say, mode one, I want to set up is zoom. And you can set up all the customizing. I got the color is red. You can set the sensitivity of the dial and say, okay. I can also go to mode two, which might be scroll, mode three, which might be, in this case, rotate and brush size. So there's a lot of different things. And you have multiple sets. So there's a display here, and right now it's set up for undo, shift, redo, command, copy, option, paste, and space. And you can uh, change those around if you want by just hitting the bottom button and going into different uh, spaces. And those spaces are set up up here. Space D, space E. So we have A, B, C, D, E spaces. And as you move from menu item to menu item, you can see that the buttons highlight to show you where those buttons are on the controller. I'm working at the full tablet area and it then actually shows it on the display. I think the, the customized screen and, and setting this up is really, really, really convenient. And uh, you know, the fact is I've come now to learn how to work so I have a pen in one hand and a controller in the other, and I'm not really touching anything. And if I need to, I can reach over here and reach my keyboard. Let's call up Capture One and take a, a look at that. So here's Capture One. And what's nice right now is Capture One has put a whole slew of new tools in here, essentially making you know brushing and all this stuff very, very important and easy to use. So in this case right now, I'm gonna work on uh, darkening down the foreground of this area and uh, you know, throwing a couple more things in here. And the way I'm gonna be doing that is with their style brushes. This is a, having these brushes allows me to do all sorts of things. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do and pick what brushes, let's see, let's just say I wanna burn, okay? Cause I wanna burn this, darken this area down below. On the screen, I have my brush area. And if I click down here, I can click the bottom button so click the bottom button and I'm gonna change the size of my brush. And I'm also going to change the flow. The flow is set as a default very low, but I'm gonna go up just for sake of demonstration. I'm gonna set it for around 15. And use pen pressure, auto mask, all this stuff is set on. This is all Capture One stuff. And essentially what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna move my pen around here and I'm just gonna start drawing. And with Capture One, I, I can mask in like this. Kind of come in here and close that. We go up in here to my layer control and say Fill Mask. And it fills in that whole area. And I can come in here and selectively darken. I can turn the mask off so you can actually see where it was. And we can go to before and after. So here's, bef here's before, here's after with the darking effect. I can use the pen to control it. If I now want to add a deep sky, I can go to deep sky and you can see here, I can bring it in and the sky is changing, um, kind of comes in. And so I can use this whichever way I'd like in regards to this, I can also increase the the mask size, once again, by increasing the mask size here, come back in here. And I would actually kind of refine this a little bit more. Also, I could always end up adding a layer, for example, and just addressing 
one area here. So let's just say I want to brighten this area. I would hit the brighten button and I could kind of come in here and you can see that that whole area is brightening. I mean, I could go and fine tune it. I can also come in and use the eraser also and erase. It's always good to be able to throw the mask button on so you can see where the changes have taken place and, and, and you can work around it like that. So mask on, mask off, mask on, mask off. Having a tablet and a pen makes this work very, very effectively. The pen gives me more control in regards to where I do this. Of course, you can always do this with the mouse too, but I really like the way this works now with the pen and I'm getting to be better at it as I go. So once you get proficient with a system, you get on only the controller but the pen and you can make all the adjustments and things that you want and you can customize it the way you want. I think what's going to happen here is Sense Lab is going to come out with a whole slew of other products. Right now it's just a tablet. They are talking about a tablet display, which should be really nice. And I'm sure they're going to enhance some of the firmware and other things and the compatibility with a lot of the other programs. Right now I use this with Capture One, a little bit with Photoshop. Um, most of what I can do right now with Capture One is do most of my layers and adjustments in the program itself and everything works quite nicely. But having the ability to have the controller at the same time as I'm walking with a pen, I can zoom in and out, work on an area where I want, make my adjustments, and then I can always just undo those things. It's all push button very quick. If you're proficient with the pen, you can do all sorts of cool stuff. This is all for about 350 some odd dollars. It's a nice display. It works well, it's wireless. And what's really nice is when you're done with all this, you just get your display case, slide it in, slide that in, slide that in, close it up, and you're ready to go to the coffee shop to work there.